Yeah, it just, um, just kind of occurred to me. This week would have been uh, when I would have gone back to work. <laughs> I'm not going back to work. See this smile? That's a genuine smile. People that know me know I don't smile a whole lot. I smile in these videos because um, I'm reminding myself of funny things or I'm cracking myself up. But that smile right there, that was a smile of a guy not going back to work. This would be uh, the time when I would be thinking about, man, I got to start getting this uh, safety notebook together. I got to start getting all the duties together for the teachers and what all they're going to do for their duty stations. I got to start getting people, all the training set up for... I don't even remember. I was getting ready to go through this big long list of stuff I have to do. But I don't remember what I did. Uh, I'm forgetting it very rapidly. This is the first time. This is the longest I've been off in a while because uh, now when I first started, we would go, uh, you know, school would end in May. And you'd go back uh, sometime in August is when you'd go back. Well, now we don't, of course, we don't do that anymore. It's a lot shorter period of time. Uh, but we go on this six weeks kind of a schedule. Every six weeks, um, you get some kind of break about a week in a school that does that. When you get to about week four or week five without a break, man, it starts coming apart at the seams. Man, you got kids crying teachers crying people not showing up to work people arguing with each other and getting mad at each other in the break rooms and the work rooms and man that whole thing starts coming unraveled after about four to five weeks i don't know what the kids are going to do when they get out of school and they get a job i don't know what i would do if i had a job where i had to work and I only got two weeks off a year. How y'all do that? I've never done that. I've never done that. The whole time I was a teacher, I've always got those breaks. I mean, you only work, you know, so many days a year. Like we worked 180, you know, 190 days a year. How do y'all just keep working? I need to talk to somebody about that. That's got to have some kind of psychological effect. That's not for me. Now, for you people that look at that and go, man, teachers have got it easy. They only work 100 and, you know, 180, 190. Are you kidding me? That's all they work? Man, let me tell you something. During that 180 and 190 days, <laughs> they're doing some working. Okay, you, you, sir, you, ma'am, you go into a classroom with 33 13 year olds six times a day go ahead try it go you go try that one on but before you do it i want you to look up this on youtube look up why i quit teaching and i want you to look at some of the things that some of those people and i mean there's tons and tons of videos about that where these people have gone in there and got wore out in the classroom. Wore out now. I mean, I've had them come and quit the, that day. I mean, got a job as a teacher, great benefits, working 180 days a year, get all these vacations, retire in 30 years, uh, work with kids, a state job you know you got good uh job protection all that stuff get that job spend all that time getting that degree doing all that work getting that job and walking out the first day walking out the first week 
So, before you start talking about or thinking about how easy that is and what a cush job, and that'd be really cool if I did that. What, try that. You, go look that up. Try that out. And uh, then come back to me. Better yet, man, get a job as a sub. Get a substitute teaching job because about anybody can do that. I mean, you don't have to have any special, you know, qualifications. You know, you got to pass a background check and all that kind of thing. So get you a uh, substitute teaching job and go hang out all day in a middle school or high school and just kind of get you a feel for that. <laughs> Let's see how long you... So before you start taking this the wrong way, uh, they probably could only... 180, 180, 190 days is probably about all they need to work. I'll put it that way. Not easy. Or here's another one for you to look up. Go on YouTube and look out, you know, something about like teacher freakouts or teacher, teacher rants or teacher. Get uh, a view of some of those where they've just totally lost it. They've had breakdowns, things like that. Um, <laughs> those are, I shouldn't be laughing because. You know, I guess that could have happened to me. I don't know. <laughs> got the idea one time. Of course, this is way before we got married. That she wanted to be a teacher. And because uh, she had some technical training, you know, like if you're a person that's an architect or something, there's a lot of training and stuff that you can take straight into the classroom and not have to do all the educational classes, stuff like that. But anyway, she decided she's going to maybe get into that and take her a couple of teaching classes. I don't even think she lasted two or three classes before she <laughs> said, okay, she couldn't even deal with the other teachers, let alone the kids. I mean, one time we got this idea. She got this idea. She said, we're going to do vacation Bible school. And uh, she's not a kid person. She's not, she doesn't do good with kids, you know. Now, she does good with babies and two-year-olds and stuff, but not kids. So I'm like, what? She said, yeah, I signed us up to do... Uh, a vacation Bible school class and I'm like you know just looking at her fun now I'm like well which one and she says the uh, middle school <laughs> so I just started laughing like okay so you want to do a middle school vacation Bible school class yeah okay so we get the materials and I prepared everything and I'd start telling her what we're gonna do she's like why are we doing that and I'm like listen I know what I'm you know and uh, so I get it all set up. I mean, we go in there for the first class and sit down and did whatever it was we did. And she left in the middle of class, had to leave, leave the room. And I went, and I said, where'd you go? She's like, I can't stay in there. <laughs> she, she couldn't even stay in the class. Uh, and I'm like, what? What was going on? I just could they're just all touching each other and and they're all you know and they don't pay attention i'm like i know they don't pay attention they're 13 years old it's hard to get them you know i said they're paying attention they're learning what i'm telling no they're just i just can't be in there with them when we do our crafts and stuff like that i'll help you with that but if we're in a classroom running you're just gonna have to do that <laughs> so she abandoned me so i had to do the whole week vacation bible school by myself uh <laughs> Anyway, not everybody can do it.